Procrastination and instant gratification rule me. Nothing seems to motivate me. What do I do? Well, I'm going to give you some practical advice. I would say you need a plan and not just a plan. You need a reason to implement the plan. You need both of those. Something motivates you. You already said instant gratification motivates you. So you'll do things for instant gratification. Instant gratification is a particular form of reward. It's called incentive reward and it's mediated by dopaminergic circuitry, the same circuitry that mediates reward as a consequence of using drugs like cocaine or any of the drugs that people abuse. And so there are certain short term activities. They intrinsically produce a dopamine kick. And a lot of that's instantaneous gratification, like say eating when you're hungry, when you're looking at the long run, rewards that are delayed don't produce as much of a dopamine kick. So they're not as immediately gratifying and they're not as gripping in the present. And the way that you have to overcome that is to generate a vision. It's a philosophical vision that justifies your life in some way that you deeply believe it has to be that. And it can't be trivial because otherwise procrastination and instant gratification are going to rule you. So we developed this program called the future authoring program and it's part of the self authoring suite and i'll run through it very rapidly because even if you don't use that program it outlines what's necessary in order to overcome the problem that you're describing so the first question you might ask yourself is well what would you need to gain and you have to have a real dialogue with yourself to understand this you have to take yourself warts and all and you have to sit down and say all right you know you're talking to your inner badly behaved six-year-old what is it that you would have to have in order to commit to something in the long run? What kind of vision of the future would justify sacrifices for you? And you might say, well, you don't know. It's like, okay, fine. That's why you have to break it down. So let me ask you some questions. So you might think, well, here's some things that people need in their life because your, your life is not going to be solid, grounded, gratifying, acceptable, meaningful, relevant, and devoid of earth-shaking anxiety without managing some of these things. Most people need an intimate relationship, a long-term intimate relationship, because otherwise they get lonesome and bored and crazy. They need friends. They need family. So you need to, to know, well, where does that fit in your life? What's your vision for that? Do you want to get along with your parents? Do you want to get along with your siblings? Do you have a strategy for that? Do you want to have kids at some point? Do you want to build yourself a family? Okay, you need a job or a career. Now, a career is intrinsically meaningful and usually very demanding in terms of commitment and hours, whereas a job at least can be engaging and worthwhile. You need a job because you need something to do and you need some, some routine and you need some financial support. And if you can have a career and that's what you want, so much the better. You need to take care of yourself mentally and physically. Like, how do you want to present yourself in the world? You no, know, you want to be healthy mentally and physically so that you're like a light among men, let's put it that way. That would be a good goal. How are you gonna handle the temptations of drugs and alcohol and whatever procrastination and instant gratification are tilting you in the wrong direction? Here's the question. You're taking care of yourself like you're someone you care about. You can design a future that would be good for you if you were taking care of yourself. Write for 20 minutes. You can have what you want. It's three years down the road. You can have whatever you want, but you have to aim for it and work for it. And you have to specify it. What is it? What do you want? What would make your life worthwhile? What would be good enough so that instant gratification would be an obstacle instead of a means for proceeding? Make yourself a damn plan. Make it into a strategy. Do it badly. You might be intimidated by it. You know, I don't know how to plan. It's like, yeah, we know you don't know how to plan. Make a bad plan. It's better than the one you've got. So do it badly and then try and modify it as, as needs be and see if that works. You need a philosophy. That's the thing. You're living a shallow life. And so short-term avoidance, that's procrastination. You'll do that because you don't think it's important enough. You don't think that the negative consequences of not doing what you should do are severe enough. You're not afraid enough of it. You also need to be terrified as well as hopeful about what you might do if you got your act together. You need to be terrified about where you might end up if you kept being lazy and useless and shallow. None of that's good. So you need to be deeper. You need to look deeper. Nietzsche said, he who has a why can bear any how. And you need a why. And the why is something like, well, imagine you could have a life that would be worth giving up some of the instant gratification for. Even in principle, what would that look like? 